I'm going in daily now. You know what it is. Step back, people. We talking about the NBA draft. And we just saw the big Final Four, the big championship game, and Gazaga did not come through. It is what it is. A lot of talent out there. But let's let's just face it, man. Let's just face it. The best talent was in the G League, all right? Outside of Cole Cunningham and Yvonne Mobley, it was the G League that had the guys that I'm very interested in. But I'm going to switch over to Jalen Suggs. And all the talk about this budding superstar, supposed to be a big-time guy at the next level. I say to myself as some reminders as best cases for Jalen Suggs. Because it's kind of tough assessing these players from college. You can be totally right, you can be totally wrong, or you can be a schmedium. I feel like I'm going to go on a totally wrong section, but I'm just going to go in. If Jalen Suggs is your point guard, who does he start over in the NBA? Help me out, all right? Because it's always this big talk of a national champion or, or, or guy that was in the national championship being the next superstar, a la Mateen Cleaves, you know, Khalil El Amin's. There's, there's guys in that era that were supposed to be or could have been, they may not have been given the proper opportunity, but I'm going to be straight up, the best college talent is not the best NBA talent. That's facts. Alright? Just because you were great in college, does that mean you'll transition into a great NBA player? Let's go into another guy that was killed by injury, but didn't have the trajectory of being a superstar NBA talent. I shouldn't go there, but I am. My famous, I love Jersey, Jason Williams. Jason Williams was another guy out of Duke that was projected to be great, a superstar, maybe one of the top players in college history, in my opinion, in the era that he was in and the style that he played. But how did he transition over to the NBA? Suggs, to me, is a risk-reward player, a guy that you could draft because of all the successes of the Gonzaga team in the in the in the tourney and in the season how he led those those teams and started as a freshman there's an argument man there's a big argument that that should be enough but I'm gonna tell you I can't think of a team that he would start over right now man I'm just gonna go in and say it all right let me let's just go look at them they they this this squad here, this this article referenced in the Washington Post covers what they're saying. He's 19 years old, by the way. All right, average 14 and a half, 4.7 rebounds, 4.7 assists. That's my issue. My issue is the assists because he's not a pure point guard. Houston Rockets. Why would you draft this guy? All right, they got Houston Rockets as a team that can need this kid. I, I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sure. Houston, they, they, just, they just completely left out my boy because they don't watch basketball. I know they don't, right? These journalists don't know. They don't know that inner city talent. That's why I made these videos because I know it because I'm from it. <laughs> That's why <laughs> they won't get it. It's like a different, a different rhythm, a different beat. You know, it's like it's like me liking the locks. And they're like, oh, it's a little too hard for me. They don't get the beat, you know? Gucci Man versus Jeezy. They don't get Gucci Man, man. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. I got the beat. Porter Jr. is the future at the point guard position for the Rockets, guys. All right? And they, they got some legit backups there. Don't think Houston needs this kid. All right, let's keep going down. Oklahoma City Thunder. That's an interesting one. All right. That's an interesting one. You basically smacked the face of Luke Ken's dorks. 
So that's a problem, right? You got Shay Gilgis, right? As you know, as the guy, he kind of handles the ball a lot. That's probably the only team I, I agree with. I would say Oklahoma City is a potential fit because Shea can't do point guard all day. Let's keep going down. Minnesota Timberwolves, my Lord. I mean, D'Angelo, I mean, how many other guys do you need? How many other guys would you – this, no doubt, Minnesota K. Cunningham. All right, that's, that's who they get. Sucks. I'm, I'm not sure where we're going here, man. I'm not sure where they're going here. So, I, I'm not sure about this. New Orleans Pelicans. So, Lonzo Ball, goodbye. Is this a short shot? Is Lonzo Ball, goodbye. Because the passing ability of Lonzo Ball, much superior than Jalen Suggs. I think it's more valuable than Jalen Suggs' assists. I just think they're running the wrong offense in New Orleans. All right. Now the next the next team where you can say I, I agree and cross you put the cross on Toronto. I see that. I I I get that. I get Toronto. All right. Lowry's older. A lot of guys moving, but they got Malachi Flynn. They, I mean, they got Van Fleet. He's no different. He's a bigger version of them. He's a big scoring guard. Man, it's tough out here in the NBA, baby. It's tough. And, and we got to be honest. How does Jalen Suggs make you better? Are you drafting a six-man? Wow. I mean, it's... I mean, when I when I saw the performance of Cole Anthony with the Orlando Magic, that's when I had to question everything. Because you looked at Cole and you said, this was an opportunity with Fultz being out for you to shine, but the adjustment didn't happen. You know, and he was a similar ilk, maybe more athletic than Jalen Suggs. So for us to go deep and get happy about Jalen Suggs, who will be a good NBA talent, I'm not sure if he is something that you throw your whole deck of cards on. He's somebody that is a, you know, eighth or ninth pick. You pick him up, and he comes off the bench, you know, and he, and he does his thing. I forgot the kid's name from Michigan. He reminds me so much of the kid from Michigan. I forgot the dude's name, the the, 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 the poor man's Iverson. But anyway, you know who I'm talking about. I mean, to me, I believe he plays for the Mavericks down. The name's just gone for me. He's a scoring guard, man. I don't think he's a full-time point guard. I need to look at him some more. I may be wrong, but I just wanted to go in that just because you, you know, you're in the spotlight in the championship and much respect to him, this is an accomplishment every basketball player wishes to achieve. So God bless him. But I'm all about the stats and analysis, and I'm telling you, I don't know if Jalen Suggs is a real point guard pick for your team if that's what you need. I mean, if you're looking for Jeremy Clarkson, that makes sense. But a point guard? Yeah. Step back, kids. I'm signing off. Something to think about. One of those step back corner moments. I'm out. Peace.